<clears throat> yeah, um, part four is here, and yeah, we're going to shade simply. And um, as you can see, I have a lot of colors uh, here, or not very ma very many, but since I have gradients and stuff, it's easier for me to see kind of what I'm doing if I have a layer under here, which I color simply just gray. And I never shade with black. Just never shade. I never shade with black. In this, we can use... Mm, the shading in the picture kind of decides a lot how the lighting is. So yeah, here we have we're going to shade with that color and I put the layer to multiply if you remember from the first part where I said that if you have multiply layers on it darkens the colors underneath it underneath in the, on the layers underneath so if I make this gray layer invisible you see that's how it affects the layer beneath, um, beneath the gray layer but since I'm not going to confuse myself with markings and stuff and make this tutorial a bit easier, I use that gray layer there. And as I sometimes do, I to put a layer above the line art layer, which I call light so source. Okay. As you may rem remember that here, those white dots here shows where the light is coming from. So that means I'm just going to use this green color that the light is coming from kind of up here. Or not up there. It comes from here. Here is the light source. Uh, that looks like green smoke now. Anyway, there's a light source above there. I'm just gonna make this there we have okay. yeah anyway the, that light source layer is just to show where light c is coming from but since we have these white dots in the eyes that helps us with uh, deciding where the light is coming from or what you can do if you want to make it really easy for yourself, is that you um, go over with a, r a rough sketch for where the light lighting is going to be, but that doubles the time of what you're using, and that on that doubles the time you're using on your drawing. So when you go, I am shading, I use the lasso tool and I cut away those places that I don't want to be shaded. Simply press the delete button and uh, deselect and then we have like this. Sometimes when you're going to make the shading to fit with the light thing here and you can't see it because of the gray layer, then it's just to make the gray layer invisible and yeah. <clears throat> Since those eyes here they are round so they are not they're not flat so they kind of if you see an eye from the side it's like flat here and then it goes out not that much but it just goes slightly out of the head if this straight line here is the head that's why you have to get away the shading in a round form like this Kind of like that. Um, and um, when the light is coming from up here, 
then you're only going to cut away where on parts that kinda that is not flat like there's n there's no need to like cut away the whole thing here on the neck like this because it is a flat part and it won't get light on because if the head throws a shadow on it because the light is coming from above um, so round places like eyes here I'm just gonna do this quickly that was the wrong way I did it wrong sometimes this can confuse you a little you're just gonna cut away where it's not going to be shaded and that might get confusing if you're not used to it. Okay, um... There... there we go. Now... I'm going to, like here on the muscle for an example, cats have very run, round parts on their muscle here and here. And the chin also, but these parts here and here cast a shadow over it because <coughs> the light is coming from above in this picture. So we're cutting away this and leave a little tiny sh bit of shadow here on this area uh, like this and the nose over here And like this. Okay. Um. Okay, I can say that I'm not very happy with this shading, but this is just a tutorial, so... <clears throat> and I'm uh, just gonna get on shading this muscle here. Since the, there is a marking on here above the head that is so dark the shading won't be able to be seen unless you light it up with unless you light it up with a lighter color because if I just choose like this for an example and cut it away you can't see that <clears throat> So, um, the black thing here is kind of a bad example. Um, it was maybe a bad example on shading. But shading on dark places, then or places like this in the muscle here, on top of the muscle, then you just select around here where it's going to get cut away. Like this. And then here see if you have a lighting layer I'm gonna show that further in this part but if you light here it won't get light pink as we use for shading it will get a gray grayish black and um, yeah for for the cheek here as I said as I said in the first part that there's 
a bone right around here, which is the jaw. It lies under the eye. Here we have a bone. And along the chin here, there goes a bone up there, up here. Um, but the draw, jaw is, uh, it's not, um, it's rather flat. But the bone under here is standing out. So like this, um, when the shading comes from above. And we have a part above the eye here, that is a bone here. You can see that if you Google a cat, ske cat skeleton and then you can see how the cat um, anatomy is. What I have seen that people like they cut away tons of parts here because it's fur there that is wrong way to shade um, same with here on the chest they cut away like a lot they're like cutting away okay cutting away that even though the lighting comes from above so this part here will be shaded because of the head And um, here on the shoulder, there is a bone that sticks out so that we can, yeah, not that much, a um, little bit less. We can do this. And the shapes of what you select to cut away is actually very important to make correctly. And if you make a tiny mistake, you can just draw on it to shape it. Yeah, um, I will come back later when I have fully shaded this picture. So, oh, whoops. Okay, uh -huh. and this will get to another fifth, uh, this will go to a fifth part I see now. <coughs> uh, so, I'll pause it here and when I come back I would have fully shaded and then I will start lighting. Um, so see you until then. <laughs>